Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com. Today I want to share with you a button drop activity. This is really excellent for fine lower skills development, math, as well as sorting and color recognition on here, depending on what buttons you use. I chose to use uh, some co somewhat colorful buttons, and they're mostly medium-sized buttons. They're not all matching sizes. You can see that... Um, they're not perfectly the same size, but they're in the same size range. I didn't want to use really large ones, and I didn't want to use really small ones. I thought these were very manageable, manageable for young children to pick up. So I have a variety of those. You can use as many as you want. And then I have my button drop can, and after this section, I will go into more detail on how I made this can. It's just a Pringles can on here, and then... Uh, the children drop their buttons in through this hole right here. And this, of course, this cover comes off for them to dump their buttons back out on there. And there's a couple different ways you can do this activity. You can just have no die and the children just drop the buttons into the can. You have to push it in. I made my button um, slit very, very slim on here so they have to push hard. You don't have to do that. You can make yours bigger. On there. And so they can just take the buttons that are in the bowl and just start pushing them in. Another way to do it is to roll a die on here. We'll do it this way. Bring it back. So it was a three. And then they would have to put three buttons in. And play would continue until all of the buttons uh, have been put into the can. So they can do that way or they can just do straight putting the buttons in depending on what you know if you want to focus more on just fine motor but if you want to add a math component you can use um, the die on there and then once the buttons have all been put in i'm not going to put them all in but i'll just put a few more in on there and if you use a variety of colors you can do a sorting activity on here as well as a counting activity but one of the things we do is once we have all our buttons, but for time's sake, I'm not going to put all the buttons in. Um, the children take the lid off, and then they dump their buttons out. And then um, if you want to do color sorting, they could arrange them by color on here for that. And then, of course, I didn't get very many of these, did I? Then they can count. Maybe how many is in the purple pile, the green pile, which pile has the most, uh, which um, one has the least, and then like a total number, depending on, again, how many buttons you use. You don't want to use such a large number that's overwhelming for children to count on there. But again, just really super great for a fine motor activity, math activity, color and sorting activity on here. And I had a, a parent drop off a bunch of these. I kept thinking, what can I do with these? And then I thought of this, that this would be kind of a cool thing to use on here as well. And besides a button drop, uh, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is just making different kinds of printables that you laminate and they can push through and then do the same kind of thing um, with the counting and the sorting on here as well. So watch for that uh, in the future. And then um, I will show you how to make these are really easy to do. So in the next section, that's what we'll cover is how to make these. These are the items that I used to make my Pringles button drop can. I used white glue. You can also use school glue, of course, uh, empty and clean Pringles cans. And how those were clean was I took a paint stirring stick, which is fairly long, and I wrapped paper towel around it, and then I went on the inside of the can and make sure I got all the crumbs out. You could also use a spray air can to blow out any extra crumbs if you see any in there, but I didn't have any problems with that on there. And then I also chose to use colorful scrapbook paper, and I measured that to the size of the can, and then I used a paper cutter. Let's get this in here so you can see it. And then I used a paper cutter um, to cut that just straight down there. And then after that, um, you'll need scissors, glue stick, and then you'll need an X-Acto knife to make that slit on the top of the Pringle can. And what I did once I had my paper cut out was I, I flipped it over and I applied glue to the back of it. And then I started with the paper. I have to be sideways here because the camera is kind of in a way. I have glue already on the back of it. And you just start here. Let's see if we can get in somehow. And you just you 
glue here and you, I just rolled it until it came together. And this overlap, which was nice too, so it's a little bit more secure once it's overlapped on there. But it, you have to measure it um, so you don't have any um, hanging off the edge of the can on the bottom down here. But it worked really well. And then I let that dry. And then once it's dry, then I put a button drop label, which I will include uh, on my website for this project on there. You don't have to use that, but I liked it. It labeled the can really nice. And uh, my finished can, one of my finished cans, I should say, turned out like this. I think it's really cute on here. Just wrap the scrapbook paper around it, put the label on, and then on the top, I have a a slit on here that I've cut with an exacto knife. Now mine's not perfect, but it works for this purpose. Um, you have to be very careful with this. I just punctured a hole in the top of the can and made a line down, and then I went back and I tried to carve some of the extra pieces off. I didn't make it a big, huge hole because I want the children to push uh, the buttons in, not just kind of let them go in, because uh, I feel that's better for fine motor development if they have to actually push a little bit harder than letting them drop right in on there. So, but you can set yours up any way you want. You can have a big hole to make it easier for younger children as well on there. And that is the finished uh, button drop can. If you like the ideas and the materials I present in these videos, please like, comment, and share. And you can sign up for my free weekly newsletter at childcareland.com. For a drop button fine motor activity, I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com. Thanks for watching.